I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Tailor-made enzymes poised to propel plastic recycling into a new era. Marine world to face mass extinction. Scientists warn about impending climate event. India committed to reaching net zero emissions by 2070. And let's take you to story number one. Well, plastics are exceptionally useful materials for packaging and all kinds of consumer items. But poorly managed plastic waste contributes to land and ocean pollution. This problem can, in principle, be prevented by recycling. However, many plastic products were not designed for mechanical recycling, which involves melting and reprocessing and therefore produces lower quality material than the original plastic. A wide variety of packaging is made from PET such as trays, tubs, cups and blister packs and the demand for transparent food grade recycled PET in particular has risen greatly over the past two decades. Attempts to recycle sorted PET trays using chemical processes have been unsuccessful. These processes typically involve boiling the plastic at 195 degrees Celsius in ethylene glycol with alkaline catalysts, a method known as saponification. However, residues from non-PET materials form gels in the boiling ethylene glycol that hinder filtration and further processing of the saponified PET. Recycling based on the enzymatic breakdown of PET might help solve these problems. A team of researchers from the University of Texas at Austin led by Hong Wan Lu used a machine learning system to predict mutations to PET degrading enzymes that might improve the thermal stability and activity of the enzymes. The researchers show that the enzyme can degrade samples from 51 untreated PET products that had previously been used by consumers, demonstrating its ability to cope with a variety of raw materials. The research is published in the journal Nature. And with that, let's take you to story number two. Well, while humans face the consequences of intense heat waves, incessant rains, floods, due to climate change and unchecked emissions, they're not alone in suffering. The marine biodiversity is on track to face mass extinction if emissions remain unchecked by the end of this century. As global oceans warm and the melting of ice continues, biologists have revealed that marine biodiversity could be on track to plummet within the next few centuries to levels not seen since the extinction of the dinosaurs. Species losses from warming and oxygen depletion alone could push the marine world to the brink by the year 2100. The study published in the journal Science states that drastically reducing global emissions offers substantial protection, which emphasizes a need for rapid action to prevent possibly catastrophic marine extinctions. The paper stated that global warming threatens marine biota with losses of unknown severity. Polar species are at the highest risk of extinction, but local biological richness declines more in the tropics. And with that, let's take you to story number three. And India reiterated its commitment to environmental goals as the country faces the menace of climate change with intense heat waves hitting several parts. Minister of Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh, who is visiting Germany, said that New Delhi is working towards its commitment to achieving net zero emissions by 2070. The Honorable Minister held delegation level talks with his German counterpart, Steffi Lemke, Federal Minister for the Environment, Nature Conservation, Nuclear Safety in Berlin, as part of the India Germany. Intergovernmental Commission. Dr. Jitendra Singh expressed interest in augmenting cooperation to face the future of challenges of climate and weather, along with developing models, application of forecasts in renewable energy, and working together in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. I quote He expressed that science and technology has been one of the strategic pillars of bilateral partnership and suggested exploring possibilities of bilateral scientific cooperation in emerging areas of weather and climate research, specifically on trends of regional climate extremes and variability of vulnerable areas, including the tropics and high latitudes." Unquote. 
the science and technology ministry said in a statement and with this we come to an end of this edition of science time we'll be back with more exciting stories from the world of science next week until then stay tuned to india science keep watching india science namaskar